my name is Joe Sturtz. I'm the district leader for the area, and I have um, southwestern Minnesota, and I have the Sioux Falls area. And we are excited to have this store open finally here in Worthington. Our second location, truck stop, showers, just an extremely beautiful facility. As we start out everything, we like to start out with our mission statement. So those of you who want to join in, I know our coworkers will. Our, we'll start with our mission statement. Our mission statement is to serve our customers and community more effectively by treating our customers, coworkers, and suppliers as we personally like to be treated and to make a difference in someone's life. So thank you for that. It's kind of like church. Sometimes, they, sometimes we sync up and sometimes we don't. In that quick trip, we value our core values. And our core values are simply honesty, integrity, respect, innovation, humility, and strong work ethic. And the people behind me will live up to those values. And at this time, I would like to introduce our CEO and President, Mr. Scott Siegel. Hey, thank you, Joe. Well, good morning, Quick Trip Worthington. It's great to be here with you this morning. Thanks for coming out to celebrate this new store opening with us. First, I'd like to address uh, our co-workers. You know, while this is a beautiful new uh, location, it's fantastic, but you are the most important and valuable asset that we have. Without you, we won't be successful. Thanks for all that you've done to get this store up and running, and thanks for all that you're going to do. We expect great things from this location. Uh, a little bit about Quick Trip for those of you that may not know us. We are a fourth generation family owned and operated uh, business based in La Crosse, Wisconsin. And at this time, I always like to recognize other family members that might be here with me. Today is Jill, my wife. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being my travel mate and my life mate. Uh, uh, but. <laughs> Uh, but in La Crosse, Wisconsin is our support center uh, and then our production facilities, warehouse distribution, and maybe a little bit about some of the production uh, areas there. So we have our own bakeries and we make uh, all of our bread and buns, our cookies, donuts, uh, bagels, muffins, just to mention a few. Uh, and then our commissary, uh, which produces our fruit cups and veggie trays, uh, soups, salads, sandwiches, pizzas, take home meals, just to mention again a few uh, that are here. And then our dairy, uh, we have our own dairy as well, which uh, produces our award-winning milk and ice cream. Uh, and we source all of our milk from local dairy farms within about 100 miles of La Crosse, so farms in Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa. Uh, we feel strongly about supporting uh, the agricultural environment just like uh, is around in this area as well. Uh, and it's meaningful to me since I'm originally from a dairy farm as, uh, as well. But uh, as we say, uh, since we source it very close, what's in the cow today is in the store tomorrow. Um, or as some of the uh, co-workers in the dairy will say, uh, farm to store in 24, uh, which is uh, very cool. We also have our distribution uh, center there and warehouse. And so about 80% of what you see in this store, we either make and or distribute ourselves. So we're very vertically integrated, which then uh, allows us to pass values on to you, on to you as well. Uh, and as uh, that group likes to say, we make it, we ship it, we sell it. Uh, and so I also would like to highlight uh, the state-of-the-art state kitchen that is here. Our co-workers uh, that uh, work there um, produce for you and provide uh, fresh, warm uh, options in the hot spot of morning, day, and night. If you haven't had an opportunity to try our chicken program, you should, it's fantastic. Um, for communities like Worthington, we deliver on a daily basis, uh, and we feel strongly uh, about uh, supporting the communities that we are in, uh, that we are committed to that uh, without a doubt goal is to provide a clean and safe location to purchase fresh products at a value with outstanding guest service. Uh, we also are proud of uh, offering jobs with great salaries and benefits. I believe this site has about 60 uh, co-workers, which is fantastic. 
Uh, and we also share 40% of our pre-tax profits uh, with uh, our coworkers. Uh, there's no company in this country, probably the world, uh, that does that. And we, that is why we think so highly of our coworkers uh, to share in the profits of the company. Again, we expect great things from this location. Thank you for coming out and sharing uh, this day with us and supporting us in your community. We look forward to working with you, and I will definitely see you next time. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate the words. And I'd also like to thank anyone and acknowledge anyone that came from the office as well. I appreciate you guys coming out today. It was a little bit of a travel fun today with the snow and everything east of us. Um, everyone tells me the snow is worse out here. I was like, oh, maybe not today. So in the chamber and people from the community that came out, appreciate you guys coming as well. So the next thing I want to do is say just a couple things about our coworkers here. We have about 60 coworkers that are going to be on this endeavor to make Quick Trip what it is in Worthington. I always like going through our purpose. <laughs> our purpose is to serve our guests, provide opportunities for our coworkers to grow, advance, have fun, and love their jobs. With this objective in mind, our coworkers and share owners are then able to share their earnings of Quick Trip. Because of this purpose, thousands of lives are made better. So when you think, look behind me, you got, well, not everyone's here, but we got about 60 coworkers who are going to have careers with Quick Trip. Maybe not a long time, maybe some a lifetime, but it's how it starts at ages. And when you think about it, I was thinking about my way in today. They're in life like the highway. Sometimes the highway's closed. It's a roadblock. And these guys are going to have roadblocks at work, guaranteed. And how they handle that is how they're going to define themselves as a store and as a team. There's three things you can control in life. I always believe this. You can control your actions, your attitude, and your approach. And that's what I ask these coworkers behind me to do, is to do that. The other thing I ask you guys to do, when you show up for work, which you will with a smile every day. I know, <laughs> right, Tina? Yep. I just ask that you do your part. Do your part to make the store successful. And if everyone does that, the store will exceed expectations. And that's what I ask of you. So with that, I would like to introduce our store leader, Dan. Would you come up and say a few words? I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, we're very excited with the new store, the new facility here in Wilmington. Uh, I'd also like to thank the Zietla family for giving us this location and the opportunities that we have and the city of Worthington for allowing us to have another facility here in town. Uh, I would also like to thank the amazing uh, contractors who work on the store. As you can see, it is quite breathtaking uh, and a huge accomplishment for the company. I would like to thank all of my co-workers here for their hard work, their training that they've had and, you know, uh, dealing with everything that they have to and you know persevering over what they've had um, I would also like to thank all of the store leaders from Sioux Falls and from the other Worthington store that helped in the training and with helping to keep track for the store and for the new employees uh, like Joe said uh, I'm very excited and very happy with the new store this facility is beautiful and our main goal is to provide the best guest service possible and exceed the guest expectations, providing a clean location, and to make sure no auto stops. Uh, that is what we are pushing for and what we want, and that's what all of us as coworkers are you know, making as our pledge for that. Uh, I do have a couple of coworkers, uh, three of them, that I'm gonna turn over and let them talk for a moment. Uh, but before that, I'd like to introduce my assistant store leader. This is Susan Coverly, did I pronounce it right? Oh, I'm close. Um, I've been practicing that all day, and I really failed at it. Um, but we'd like to start with Brittany. Hi, my name is Brittany Esparza. I'm the food service leader. I've been with the company for around almost four months. And my favorite thing about working here is it really does feel like a family. I feel like everyone says that, but it really does. <laughs> Brooklyn Brentsman. Um, I work in the kitchen and up front. Um, I've been working here for about four months and I really appreciate my employees. They always have a positive attitude and are always there for me. Hi, my name is Manny and um, 
I'm a maintenance and truck. And something I like about this place is that there's always something to do. You always keep yourself busy. You always keep yourself motivated. And uh, again, I would like to thank everyone for his or her future business for this location. And I'm going to turn the microphone over to Tyler. Uh, thank you, Daniel, and the entire team for all you've done to get this store up and going. Hello, my name is Tyler Nolte. I'm a food service district leader for the area. I cover the same area that Joe does. I work side by side with Joe. It's been great building this new team over here and getting to know everybody. I want this team to know that there's plenty of opportunity for advancement within our company. As a food service district leader, I work with one district. I serve 10 stores. I started with Quick Trip in 2011 as a food service, or food service leader in Fairmont, Minnesota. I was promoted to an assistant, food, an assistant store leader position in Hoka, Minnesota in 2014. I worked as an assistant store leader in Nodine, Minnesota in 2015. I was promoted to a certified assistant store leader in 2016. I was then promoted to a store leader in Blair, Wisconsin in 2016. And in 2019, I accepted another store leader position in Spear Lake, Iowa, and I opened the new store there. And I was able to experience opening a brand new store from the ground up. I was there for about two years. Throughout my experiences and working alongside other leaders and district leaders, I gained many skill sets that led me to where I am today. I was given the opportunity to apply for my current position and was promoted in January 2021 to a food service district leader. One of the biggest things I love about Quitship is that we promote and encourage development from within. The people we work with, it is our greatest asset. The time and development we put into ourselves and others allows us to be our best and our coworkers to be their best. Because of this, our coworkers are able to grow and promote. We love to see others succeed. Looking back, I wish I had started my career with Quitrip much sooner. <laughs> Quitrip is more than a job. It's a career with opportunities to advance, to grow and be part of a community. I encourage each of you to do your best to grow with Quick Trip. Part of living by our mission statement at Quick Trip is giving back to our community that we work in. As part of our mission, we are donating $1,000 to two organizations today. Our first organization we are donating to is the Worthington Fire Department. The work at the Tin Fire Department plays a vital role in our community. They have roughly 33 officers on their department, and their presence in the community contributes to the safety and well-being of the town. Please help me welcoming Pat. Department of the City Relief, and I would like to thank you for your contribution. Um, the irony of this, we were just in the process of looking at extrication equipment, meaning airbags and the things of that nature, because ours is outdated and no longer viable. Um, we just applied for a grant from one organization, received that, and then you guys stepped forward and offered us this. So the timing couldn't be better, and it fits the profile of what you guys are doing here with the heavy equipment. So it'll be utilized for the proper, the proper uh, equipment that we serve. And to boot, you know, your ag community, we're obviously heavy in that, and it'll fit that very well also. So thank you very much. Thank you. The second recipient of the $1,000 today is going to the Worthington High School Band Department, and that will help go towards their annual band trip. Please help me welcome Tony.
thought you should play for us. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get him to. Next time, <laughs> Um, thank you. Um, my name is Tony Hastings. I'm the principal at Worthington High School. Um, good timing with this as well. We have the great opportunity um, for our band, our high school band, to perform at the Holiday Bowl December 27th, I believe, is, is the game. Um, so our students um, are performing at halftime of that game. So obviously when we're bringing a lot of kids, three full buses, um, it's an expensive trip. So we want to thank Quick Trip uh, for supporting our, our schools. Um, also supporting a lot of our students, uh, high school students work here, some alumni of WHS as well too. So we appreciate the support that Quick Trip also gives our community in providing jobs for our, our, our youth in this program. So thank you so much to Quick Trip, I appreciate it. Um, go Trojans. Woo. Next we will be doing our ribbon cutting with the Zitlo family, please help join us up front.